Hi friends, my name is Swedan and I am going to deal with the world geography in APPSC group 1. Now, the rotation of the earth on its own axis. Rotation of sun. Rotation of earth. Earth on its axis. Right. So before going to that, before going to that, rotation of the earth on its axis. So what will be the resultant if it is rotating in this way? Suppose this is the earth and it is rotating. This is inclined at 23 and half degree. Okay. This is inclined at 23 and half degree. 23 and half. This is 23 and half degree. This is your zero. 23 and half degree it has inclined it is rotating so what will happen what is the resultant of this rotation of the earth now before going to that first we need to study about the your earth earth is divided into two halves earth is divided into two halves first half first half it is called North Hemisphere North Hemisphere First half is called Upper Half North Hemisphere Southern part It is called South Hemisphere South Hemisphere So North Hemisphere and the South Hemisphere And the line which is dividing it is a zero degree. I'll tell you that later. It is a zero degree. Nothing but equator. Equator is dividing your. Equator is dividing earth into two halves. North hemisphere and south hemisphere. And it is inclined. Inclined. Inclined at 23 and half degrees. It is inclined at 23 and a half degrees. So now let us see that. What is a rotation a resultant on the earth surface? So it is divided. One more thing you need to learn about here. North hemisphere and south hemisphere. So there are some latitudes. This is your 23 and a half degree. North. North hemisphere. It is called north. This is your 23 and a half degree south this is called tropic of cancer this is called tropic of capricorn cancer and capricorn now listen carefully now your sun sun this is your earth this is your earth so this is your 23 and half degree 23 and half degree 23 and half degree 23 and half degree 23 and half degree. now this is your sun sun now when it is rotation when the rotation is taking place rotation on its axis on its axis taking place a resultant will be days and nights yes days and nights the question might ask you for example if there is a question like this question like this a resultant if earth is rotating on its own axis what will be the its resultant earth is rotation on its own axis what will be the resultant one question second question might be day and nights are caused by example question day and nights are caused by are caused by okay option a option a due to the rotation rotation 
on its axis b revolution around sun around sun c due to the inclination inclined position d none of this what will be the answer the result in rotation because of the rotation earth is rotating so whichever the part this part is facing the sun so it will be day the other part which is facing the sun it is called as a night it is called a night so which line is this which line is this what is this line called and how we have bifurcated or divided we will see that so day and nights are caused by the rotation of the earth rotation of the earth and what will be the resultant because of the revolution revolution around the sun or around the around the sun what will be the resultant for this resultant will be your seasons seasons are caused by revolution around the sun a revolve when the earth revolve around the sun your resultant will be seasons when the earth rotates on its own axis resultant will be day and nights resultant will be day and nights so revolution is a seasons rotations and day and nights now let us see how this day and nights how this day and nights and how these seasons will have an impact on us on us so first clear this one is your how the questions will be asked day and nights are caused by this one and revolution seasons are caused by revolution around the sun when the earth rotates around its sun revolves around the sun then your day and nights uh, sorry uh, seasons are caused when earth rotates its own axis then your day and nights are caused so nothing but day and nights we required generally one day and night combinedly it is called as 24 hours 24 roughly actually 23.56 hours but we consider it as 24 hours and 4 minutes we take as in february 29 that is your leap year leap year this 4 minutes every 4 minutes every day 4 minutes we consider as that is in the leap year february 29 so this is your day and night what is the resultant we have seen now one by one we will see this rotation and revolutions so first now this is a elliptical orbit now this is your sun this is your sun this is your sun now here you have your earth here you will be having earth here you will be having earth that means earth is rotate revolving around the sun earth is revolving around the sun this is your sun this is your earth now what will happen you see when the earth is revolving around the sun there will be a place where the earth is very nearest to the sun and there is a place where earth is far away from the sun far away from the sun and there is a place where earth has a equal distance what do you mean by this let us see first when the earth is nearest to the sun earth is nearest to the sun that is your jan 
थर्ड जनवरी थर्ड एर्थ इज नियरेस्ट टू द सन इट इज कॉल्ड एज पेरीलियॉन पेरीलियॉन नथिंग बट वेन द एर्थ इज नियरेस्ट टू द सन इट इज कॉल्ड एज ए पेरीलियॉन विच कम्स ऑन जैन थर्ड राइट नेक्स्ट एर्थ इज फार अवे फ्रॉम द सन इन इट्स एलेप्टिकल ऑर्बिट इट इज जुलाई जुलाई फोर्थ इट इज कॉल्ड एज एपीलियॉन एपीलियॉन एपी मीन्स फार अवे फार अवे एपी मीन्स फार अवे पेरी मीन्स नियर पेरी मीन्स नियर सो जुलाई फोर्थ इज योर एपीलियॉन फार अवे एंड जनवरी थर्ड इज योर पेरीलियॉन सो एर्थ एट दट टाइम वट विल हैपन and january 3rd january 3rd what will happen your day will be longer day will be longer and night will be shorter shorter day will be longer night will be shorter and here this is your january 3rd nothing but perilion now july 4th july 4th that is nothing but far away so day will be shorter here day will be shorter shorter and your night will be longer nights are longer longer okay this is and here this one it is called as a equinox equinox nothing but here march 21st september 23rd these are equinox nothing but days and nights are equal 12 hours day 12 hours night 12 hours day 12 hours night so days and nights are equal in this place here at the equinox days and nights are equal and at july 4th perilion days are shorter nights are longer because it is far away then you can ask me a sir question the questions will be raised here such as january 3rd as we say days are longer but in india if you consider india days are shorter in india days are shorter in india at the time same time nights are longer in india why sir you can raise this question and july 4th you say days are shorter but in india days are longer nights are shorter july 4th generally we have in india will be going through your monsoon session monsoon season monsoon season nothing but rainy season so in india why the question in india why days are longer days are shorter nights are longer during january 3rd and also january 3rd is nearest to the sun that means we need to have summer but we wear winter clothes at same time we wear winter clothes why like this january 3rd we wear winter clothes in india but it should be according to this concept it is a summer so what is that actually the answer is earth is inclined inclined at 23 and 1/2 degree i told you why it is inclined answer is earth is inclined at 23 and 1/2 degree so due to this inclination there is seasonal change within the north hemisphere as well as south hemisphere north hemisphere south hemisphere there is a seasonal change.